Hello, I'm Stephanie and I'm an adult librarian with our White River Library branch of the Johnson County Public Library System. And today I'm going to give a quick tutorial on one of my favorite online resources available through the library, and that's lynda.com. Um, but to get started, I've come to our homepage here, which is pageafterpage.org. And you will notice right away when you um, come to our homepage, there's this Ask a Librarian Chat Now box here. So you can use that to ask any questions you have, um, whether it's about your account or if you have any questions on things that I cover in this tutorial. Feel free to come back here and use that option to chat with the library staff member and get your questions answered right away. But to get started on lynda.com, I'm going to click on Research and Learn here at the top of our page, and that brings up a list of our databases. That list is alphabetical, so I'm going to scroll down until I find lynda.com. And that's L-Y-N-D-A. So I click access there and then that takes me into lynda.com and I will need to sign in with my library card number. That's the full number with no spaces and my library card PIN number. And your PIN number is default set to the last four digits of your library card number unless you have changed it at some point. If you have any problems with your PIN number, Feel free to go back to our homepage and use that chat option and a library staff member will be glad to reset your pin for you. I'm going to pause the video here for just a second while I get signed into lynda.com and I will be right back. So now I am signed into lynda.com and this is the homepage of lynda.com. So to get started there is a library on lynda.com so there are all these different subject headings that you can kind of browse through and see if you find something of interest to you. Just know that lynda.com has several different options available. You can find a lot of technology based um, subjects on here like Microsoft Office programs but you can also find things like how to build a resume or um, brush up on photography skills or customer service skills or how to uh, effectively work with difficult customers and those things are very important so um, this is a great resource to build your skills and just um, keep your skills that you already have up while you're in quarantine and maybe not working or working from home um, but sometimes if I'm looking for something very specific, I find the library a little bit difficult to find what I'm looking for, so I will just use this search box up here. And today I'm going to look for Microsoft Excel. So I search for that and I get 11,835 results, so it's quite a bit. But I notice along the left hand side here, then I have several different options for limiting down my results. Um, first on the list I have type. So there are playlists and that's what you can curate on your own. Um, so you can find different videos and courses on a topic like Excel and put those together in a playlist. A learning path is um, combines several different courses on a topic. So we see here that we have a learning path on getting started with Microsoft Excel and it's five courses put together. Um, then the most common thing, there's videos, which we see up here. We have videos, and the videos can range in length from just a few minutes to um, 30 minutes, maybe even longer than that. Um, and then, the, then there are the courses, and the courses are a lot longer. They are several hours long at least. Um, but if you do complete an entire course, there, you will get a certificate at the end of it. So that's a nice feature that I will talk about later in this video. Um, but to get started, we're going to say that we just want something quick to learn a little bit about Excel. So we're going to look at videos, the shorter option here in type. And now we're down to 10,290 results. And next we're going to say that we're at a beginner level. Um, so now we're down to 2,832 results. And if I want to look at things that are just on Excel, I can scroll down here to software and click on Excel. And then I'm down to 1,175 results. So why that's still a large number, it's a lot more manageable than the 11,000 that we started with. And I come down here and I find one that looks good to me that I'm interested in, in, in watching. So I click on that. That's This one is called Getting Started with Excel. 
And once I click on that, that opens up the video, and I notice along the left-hand side here, I have a table of contents. And that's listing out everything that's covered within the video. And you see that each section lists a time, so that tells you how long that section lasts. And one of the great things that I really love about lynda.com is that it's all self-paced. So I'm going to show you some quick um, options for skipping around. So if you don't want to watch an entire video or an entire course, there are ways that you can watch the sections that pertain to just what you're, um, the things that you are wanting to learn about specifically. So in the table of contents, I can skip down to chapter two. And if I click on this here, that's going to forward the video to that point. So you saw that just forwarded the video to that section. So I can skip around as I want here in the table of contents. And then if I come over here underneath the video, I see that there's a transcript. The transcript is just text that follows along with um, writing out of what's being said in the video. And the transcript will follow along as the video moves along. You will see that text that's currently of what's currently being said in the video will be highlighted in a yellow color. Um, so I can also skip around by clicking within different parts of the transcript. So if I click down here, it's going to skip to this part of the video. So now you see that that just forwarded the video to that specific point. Another great option at lynda.com is this option to view offline. So if you don't have great Wi-Fi at home, you can use this view offline and all of our library branches have Wi-Fi available in our parking lot or if you can find another place near you that has a good Wi-Fi connection go there and you can download the course and then you can view it offline later so you don't need to worry about your Wi-Fi connection at home. So that's a great option and another nice feature in lynda.com um, videos and courses are these exercise files. So the instructor has created these files in order for you to be able to practice what you're learning um, here. So they will mention these in different parts of the video, say, um, now please open up this exercise file. So you will go over here, click on exercise files, find that file, and open that up. And then you can practice along. Now you will need that program. If you're doing something like I'm doing here with Excel, you will need Excel. Um, but if you don't have that, don't worry, you can still learn a lot just by following along in the video as there are images and text and audio that you can follow along and learn about um, this specific program. Another nice feature I like about lynda.com, if I click back here on the home page, I notice along the left hand side I have this continue watching. And that's all of the courses and videos that I've watched most recently. And then I see that I have one here that's 4% complete, one that's 17% complete. So lynda.com keeps track of where I left off. So I can go back to any of these and start right where I left off. So that's another piece of that whole self-paced learning within lynda.com. I can also, if I click on my profile up here in the right-hand corner, I see there's an option for history. So if I click on that, that brings up the history of everything that I have watched since I created my lynda.com account. And that will tell me when something was last viewed, and it also, again, keeps track of where I left off at. So I can go back and pick up right where I left off on something, or say I previously watched something that I really liked and was really good, um, I can find that right here in this list and easily go back and pull it back up. So that's a nice feature. Another thing that I really like that I mentioned at the beginning of this video are the certificates. So if I click on certificates here, I notice that I have one here for Mac OS Mojave Essential Training. And I can view print here. So if I click on that, that brings up their certificate. And that tells me what it was for, Mac OS Mojave Essential Training. Tells me when I completed it, which is in 12 of 2019. And then down here, the CPE credits tell me how much time I spent in um, doing this training. So I spent over seven hours on this um, training here on Mac OS. 
and that's great to have if you need to be able to show your employer that and also that print option you can print it out if your employer needs a print it out certificate to show that you did complete it um, the certificates are also great though for your resume so if you're looking for a job it's a great thing to be able to put on your resume and show prospective employers that maybe you've um, kept up on skills that you have but also learned new skills and now is a great time to do that so well, I hope you get a lot out of lynda.com and that you enjoy it as much as I do thank you for listening today